lightweight. Bo Matlock, the late heavyweight. And our middleweight champion, Charles Durr, is up there as well. So there you see him. Now, we're going to have the chance to see the pose or the uh, compulsories here as we see Mike make his way over to the left side. They're going to go in order. And uh, take us through it. Walk us through well, it. Again, you see the contrast in the weight classes, and it's relative to the heights. You're going from short to kind of tall. And in each height and weight class, they're getting bigger and bigger. And they're being compared uh, on an equal basis from the calves on up to the traps at the top base of the neck. What you're going to find here is that the judges are looking for uh, aggressiveness. They're looking for body part comparisons as far as relativity to size and detail and definition. And then they're going to be taking into account the overall package. And again, we got the contrast between Bo Matlock and Mike Matarazzo and the freakiness size of Matarazzo because he's huge and the genetic shape of a Bo Matlock. How can that not be an advantage though, this quote-unquote freakiness size, when you've got him checking in at, at what, uh, 231 pounds, and then you've got Al Escobar coming in it's at 140. Yeah, it's an advantage, and unfortunately for the shorter guys, the lightweights and the bantamweights and the middleweights, they have a tendency to get overlooked when it comes down to the overall, because what you find is guys that are taller and heavier have the same attributes as the guys in the bantamweights and the light heavyweights, and a lot of times, most of us are conditioned to, to assume that bigger is better, and that weighs to the advantage of the heavyweight and light heavyweight. Charles Durr is holding his own in the middle there the middleweight on the back shot for sure he certainly yeah is. and this is a good reason that they have division winners unfortunately only one person here gets a pro card and uh it has a tendency historically to go to the heavyweight guy or the light heavyweight guy for the lighter guys the lightweight bantamweight middle they've got to have a knockout punch all right they've asked for the pose down folks i i really like this segment because you get the music blasting and you get these guys kind of showing off a little bit the ego has to take charge well, just the a only bit thing on the line and on their mind right now is that professional card this is what it's all about let's face it the pose down is your last opportunity to show the judges what you have and al escobar went right over and stood right beside mike Matarazzo. you can't this is not a place to be afraid i mean this you've done the homework you've gone through the ups and downs of the low carbs and all the training and the aerobics you got to get aggressive and take what's yours do they really chase the guy they think is the favorite is that the, so the way that it goes can be to your advantage and to your detriment because the guy that's the favorite with the biggest arms or biggest legs can expose yours if you're are not up to par, so sometimes it's better to hold your own ground. All right, here we go. Uh, who do you like? I forgot to ask you that. Matarazzo's freaky size is swaying me towards him. I like Bo Matlock. Okay, let's listen up. Mike Matarazzo. Well, you were torn. Yeah, I mean, it's a coin toss because they're both equally good. I believe Mike won out on, again, his freaky size. And, uh, you know, it's a coin toss. It's up to the judges. The judges went for muscularity, thickness, just He's vascularity. Got He's got it all. He has got it all. And Mike Matarazzo from Massachusetts, now by way of Venice Beach. I got to deal with this guy in the pro. You oh might God. just have to see him down the road. He's going to make me eat my words. How about you and I head down to the stage to talk to him? We'll do that right after this timeout. Excuse me, do you know what 